Cylinders. A rodless cylinder literally means a cylinder without any rod. When you look at this, an ordinary cylinder has a rod. The rodless cylinder is a cylinder that an inner piston moves linearly to transfer the force with an outer shuttle. Now, let's look at the internal structure and operating principle of the rodless cylinder in animation. First, let's look at the internal structure of the rodless cylinder. When only the typical parts are explained, the rodless cylinder has a cylinder tube, a shuttle, a piston, an inner sealing band, an outer steel band, and end covers with air cushions on both sides. The description on the cylinder tube and the end covers on both sides can be found in the previously uploaded pneumatic cylinder-related video. Then, let's take a look at each part of the rodless cylinder. Now, there is a piston. The piston makes a linear movement on both sides by the compressed air supplied. The shuttle, which rests on the piston, moves with the piston, supporting the load mounted on it. The piston and the shuttle of the rodless cylinder can be connected in various ways. Like this cylinder, the piston and the shuttle are directly connected together. And the magnetic rodless cylinder has a magnet attached to the piston. And the shuttle with the structure in which the shuttle is driven by magnetism when the piston moves. The tube is then inserted between the piston and the shuttle. The internal sealing band is installed directly above the piston to prevent external leakage of internal air pressure. As its material, an elastic and durable material, such as polyurethane, is mainly used. Above that, a magnet mounted on the top of the tube helps the steel band stay in close contact with the tube. And the steel band is installed at the middle on the top of the tube. The steel band plays a role in preventing dust or dirt from entering the inside by blocking holes in the center of the tube. The shuttle end caps prevent dust from entering the shuttle from both sides and flattens the steel band. The end covers are fitted on both ends and, finally, the steel band fixing bracket screws are tightened to prevent the band from being deviated. So let's see how the rodless cylinder actually works. When compressed air enters, the piston and the shuttle move together, while the ordinary cylinder pushes or pulls objects when the rod comes out. The rodless cylinder makes the piston and a conveying object move together. In this video, we've looked at the internal structure, components and operation principle of the rodless cylinder. Next time, We'll look at some of the advantages, cautions, and applications, as well as a video about its actual operation. If this was helpful, please subscribe to my channel and click like. Thank you.